Hi you guys, welcome back to Creatively Craft Life. My name is Melanie. This is another installment in the Smash Your Stash series. It's a collaboration with a bunch of fellow YouTubers, people on Instagram, where we take something in our stash and hopefully smash it. Well, I'm not going to quite smash it today, but I'm going to attempt to use up some of these items and I'm going to focus on base pages. So if you follow me for any length of time, you will know that I love to make base pages. I have here a bunch of base pages that I've created, you know, just mostly using up scraps. Um, I, this is not all of them by any stretch of the imagination, but I thought as I was chit-chatting here, I might as well show you some of the um, types of pages that I have created over the years. Some of them I have mats on them. Others are quite open to interpretation, like this one. You could go in any sort of direction. And then there are others that are quite specific. So let me show you something that would be quite specific. So something like this that already has a lot of embellishments going on. Or I have even um, participated, oops, sorry for the glare, classes and have pages already pre-populated. So that's what I call base pages. I printed a bunch of photos and I went through the stack and I'm going to show you the starting point and then after I finish with embellishments like title, journaling, etc. So, okay, so here we go. So the first base page I pulled out is this one from Pink Fresh. Primarily, I think it's all Indigo Hills too. And I had this photo here. Um, it's a photo of a bouquet that a church friend of mine gave me uh, as a thank you gift. And I thought the purples in the flower arrangement worked really well with the purples from this page, as well as the little leaf flower motif up the top. I'm thinking maybe I will probably put it over here on this end and then a title or something up here. Again, some room for flexibility, so I'm not sure exactly how this is all going to pan out. So that's the first one. So here's this completed layout. I added some Felicity Jean flocked stickers um, just to add a little bit of um, additional texture on the background. And these gold puffy hearts, which I think were from LA Studios. Really simple, quick. Pulled a title. Again, this is also from Felicity Jean. And uh, this one is done. The second base page is this one here. This is, I believe, Felicity Jane. And I pulled this to go with these photos of my nephew and niece. And they are photos of cards, them receiving cards that I had sent. And I thought the colors went really well, considering. And I'm not sure, again, how I'm going to lay this all out. You know, there's a couple different ways that I could play with this. So I will be back to show you what that one looks like. I was on a Felicity Jane kick with this one and uh, I pulled a bunch of tags and some of the embellishments from my collections, some of the alphabets, just really kept it quite simple. But I like how this one turned out as well. Because I use a lot of scraps, I don't often have two page um, layouts, but I did um, from this one here, and this was actually from another Smasher stash where I was using up these floral elements. And this is going back to 2011, Mother's Day brunch, and I have a bunch of photos here as well. And I'm thinking, you know, I'll trim this one down to fit on that mat and Maybe this one will go up here and then I'm going to split these three by four cards apart and maybe put one there and one over here or flip it down. I'm not exactly sure. Again, you get the general idea. This is what I'm playing with. And here is the two page spread. I literally did exactly what I said. I just added the photos. I found some label stickers in my stash to do a little bit of journaling and I added the title with um, some pretty little studio tiled letters and some fancy pants um, alphas. And that is this. All the, the other embellishments were already on this base page, so super quick. Another base page is this one here. Same, actually, smash your stash with those floral elements. And 
I liked the whimsical nature of this one and I thought that fit these photos of my niece reading her favorite book which happens to say Goodnight California and there's a picture of me on the back. So this was a book that I had given the family as a way to kind of try and keep in touch with them and clearly it's designed for two uh, vertical um, photos and this has a mat which I probably will keep on here I just might put some dimensional tape behind it and really this one's almost done just a title and a little bit of journaling and this is gonna be a super easy page pretty much exactly as it was laid out <clears throat> I just added a title the photos and the journaling all the other embellishments were already in place and this one is done. So that is it for this month's Smash Your Stash, where in my case, I chose to use some base pages. I'd hope to get a few more done, but you know, sometimes you just, you just run out of time. And that's what happened this month. So I hope you are inspired to use something from your stash. Let me know below what it is that you want to focus on and be sure to check out the other collaborators. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. And until next time, happy crafting.